Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Monday, October 31st. 2022. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, thank God for this day. Commit this day to Him. Use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord. And use this day to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're out and about today, take some time and give God praise because He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our worship. He is worthy of our thanksgiving. Once again, today's October 31st. It's Halloween Day here in America. Whether you celebrate Halloween or not, that's between you and the Lord. Uh, but it is also National Knock Knock Joke Day and National Caramel Apple Day. So it would be a good day to get a nice caramel apple and listen to a great knock knock joke. And why don't you, in the ch- in the comments to this broadcast, why don't you put your favorite knock knock joke in there? And maybe I'll read a couple of them this week if we get any. But uh, scripture reading today, we're going to start a brand new series today for this week. And it's entitled, I Can Do All Things Through Christ. Philippians 4.13 is my absolute favorite verse in scripture. And quite often the Lord leads me to that verse of scripture. And Paul writes, I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. And I have to remind myself of that verse quite often because so many times we feel insecure about things that God might be calling you to do or go or say. And, you know, I've used this illustration a million times probably, and I'm probably going to use it a million times more. But you can count on one hand the amount of times that I did a book report in school because of my fear of talking in front of people. But yet that's what the Lord has called me to do, to go and to preach his word and to teach his word to a lost and a hurting generation. So that's what I do. That's that's what God does. And, and I'll get nervous and I'll get scared before preaching. And, and the Lord will bring to my mind, I can do all things through Christ Jesus. That's the key. I can do all things through Christ. That's the key right there. That's the key. In John chapter 15 and verse 5, we read Jesus. These are the words of Jesus now. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. Without Jesus, without Christ, we cannot do all things. We can do nothing. So if God has called you into doing something, that seems like it's way out of your comfort zone. Know that it can and will be done through Christ who gives you the strength to do what he's called you to do. In this passage here in Philippians chapter 4, here at the end of his letter here to the church at Philippi, he's starting to talk about the gifts that the church at Philippi had sent him. And he said in verse verses 10, Through 12, he said, But I rejoiced in the Lord greatly, that now, at the last, your care of me hath flourished again, wherein you were also careful, but ye lacked opportunity. Not that I speak in in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. I know both how to be abased, and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. So Paul is saying their care has came upon him again. They're helping meet his needs. But through Christ, which gives him the strength, he has learned to be content with wherever he's at. He has learned to be content with his situation. Paul knew his mission. Paul was not going to let hunger or, or lack stop his mission. So therefore, he was able to do all things, whether he had plenty or whether he had nothing. He was able to do all things that Christ called him to do through that relationship with Jesus. He remained in the vine. I remember years ago, there was a story of this most powerful computer ever built. 
and they got it assembled, and the day came that they were going to debut this most powerful supercomputer in the world and show all the stuff to the media of everything it could do. And the day came, and the media gathered, and they were all up there ready to show off the supercomputer, and they they turned it on, and nothing happened. And they went, and they hit some buttons, threw some switches, and did something again, and nothing happened. For a week solid, they kept trying to get this thing to work. And finally, it was discovered it was never plugged in. Friends, we can't work if we're not plugged into the vine, if we don't abide in Jesus and Jesus abide in us. Paul writes in Philippians chapter 1, verse 11, he says, Being filled with the fruits of righteousness, which come by Jesus Christ unto the glory and the praise of God. The fruits of righteousness come by our relationship with Jesus as we are plugged into him and plugged into the vine so that he can give us the strength to do the things that we've been called to do. And finally, Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 10, Paul says, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ, Christ Jesus, unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. We are Christ's workmanship. We are God's workmanship. And we can do all things through Christ if we are plugged in to that vine, if we are plugged in to him and he is living in us. So friends, this week we're going we're gonna to look at people who did things for Christ, who lived out this verse. People like the Apostle Paul. People like Philip. I'm sorry, people like Stephen. Maybe even Philip, since that one popped out. We'll have to take a look. But people that have lived out this verse that did all things through Christ. And hopefully it'll it'll challenge us to grow in our faith and to step out of our comfort zone and follow God where he is calling us to be. Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's word and allow God's word to get into you. And then share that word with someone today. Have a blessed day. Yeah, I'll have the chicken. And I'll have your triple-decker hot fudge sundae. Oh, and two pounds of broccoli. For lunch? I love their hot fudge sundaes, and this one's huge. But aren't you on a diet? Yeah, but I ordered broccoli. So? Broccoli's good stuff. It makes up for the ice cream sundae. But you're just eating more food. Two pounds of broccoli? Well, it's a lot of ice cream. Do you believe that doing good deeds can make up for your past sins? Hey, Bob, you always wanted my guitar. Well, here, it's yours. Wow. What do I owe you? Nothing. I blame this guy at work for something I did, and it got him fired, and he committed suicide. So to make up for it, I'm giving you my really expensive guitar. Uh, what does that have to do with me? Nothing. I just need to do something nice to balance out the bad with some good in my life. But that was pretty bad. Well, this is a pretty nice guitar. There's only one way to deal with the penalty of sin. Forgiveness. Have you asked for God's forgiveness? Another message from Lifeline Productions, located on the web at lifelinepro.com.